Now we've got earnings to track. Ayush Bagla, the executive director of Sarah Sanitary Wear, is with us on the show. They reported their numbers a while back. Uh, the company has reported very strong capacity utilizations, 115% growth uh, capacity utilization in the sanitary wear plant, while the faucet wear plant capacity utilization stands at 118%. Uh, Mr. Bagla, thank you very much for joining in. Um, can you give us some guidance for the first half of FI24 and what we should expect for the full year? For having set a sanitary wear on your show, we've had another fantastic year. And just to give you some highlights for the year, the industry grew at 6-7%, the company grew at 22%, three times the growth in the sector, both in sanitary wear and faucet wear. And this company was uh, till recently a 1200 crore company, now it's a 1800 crore company. Uh, we're looking forward to our run rate of uh, 2900 crores in September 25, which was our stated objective in March 22. So given that trajectory uh, between 19 and 23% annualized CAGR is our expectation. And all growth levers are pointing in that direction, whether it's new product introduction, growth in uh, the footprint, both in our dealers, retailers, and our own experience centers, and capacity utilization. So just to give you some color on capacity utilization, we didn't have to take any price increase, even though we had pricing power and the ability to do that because there was a significant uh, productivity enhancement and our fixed cost got spread over a larger base. Okay. Uh, we take that point, uh, Ayush, good afternoon. While your revenue growth has been very strong at 21%, EBITDA in absolute terms just grew 3% and this has led to a margin compression. You said there was no cost pressure this time and that's why you did not take any price hikes. Can you explain then why is the EBITDA growth slower than the revenue growth? Rolled out a new ad campaign. So our typical expense about of about 30, 35 crores of advertising and publicity annually was about 57 crores this year. And the benefits of which are both visible in the short term and in the medium term. So that increased our expenses, uh, sales and marketing and advertising publicity in this quarter by 17. Other than that, uh, at the operating level, operating profits have also grown and uh, just before selling and marketing expenses, the margins have also grown. Uh, so will your ad spend stay high even in Q1? What's the number that you're uh, targeting for ad spend? And what does it mean for your operational margins? Well, spends are typically 4 4.5% of uh, top line. And the manner in which the top line is growing, the absolute number in ad spends will grow. And what it has done is taken us out of industry cyclicality. So with 66% of our business now in the B2C segment, our pricing power ensures uh, that we are not uh, subject to the demand supply shocks of the real estate sector or of the interest rate cycles. Okay. You, in your press release, speak about market share gains. Can you quantify that? What was it earlier in both the segments and where do you stand uh, currently? So we'll wait for any external agency to really make any comment about our market shares and market share gains. But we are the largest player in sanitary wear in the country and the second largest in faucet wear in the country. In faucet wear, our share of incremental market shares three times the growth in market. Hmm. Just getting back to uh, margins, will margins stay at the current levels of 16, 16 and a half percent or do you expect an improvement? So if you look at the annualized uh, margin numbers, they've grown from 16.93 to 17.96, a growth of 100 basis points. And our stated objective in the beginning of the year was a growth of 50 to 75 basis. As we add 350 to 400 crores of top line annually, we feel there is room for margins to grow by another 50 basis points annually. So next year margin should be closer to 18.5% versus the 17.9% that you clocked in in FY23? That is the expectation and um, our infrastructure and marketing and manufacturing efficiencies have made sure that there are no raw material of cost shocks. So that is a very large uh, comfort factor that we have derived from our uh, increase in efficiency. As far as okay. pricing power is concerned, the brand has done exceedingly well. So we took a number of price hikes in the calendar year 21 and the first half of 22. But since May 22, we have not had the need to take any uh, price increases to maintain our EBITDA margins. So no further price hikes on the card? 
we can't uh, really predict the future but uh, over the last 9 For months now. we really not had any yes that's right okay so uh, you have some expansion plans in place before i speak to you about that you do have considerable cash in your books as well what are you planning to do with that uh, the last known number as per your press release is 580 crore rupees um, will you be using it for inorganic growth plans will you be putting up more capacity or will it be returned to shareholders in some form the crore number was the number in uh, q4 last year and um, we have used some part of the cash to increase our inventories we have also used some part of the cash for a brownfield faucet ware expansion of 69 crores and we are doing a greenfield sanitary ware capex of about 129 crores of which the land purchase is the first step of about 25 in addition uh, the dividend that the board has recommended subject to the shareholders approval is 1000% on the face value per share 50 rupees uh, per share on a 5 rupee share so that will also take about 65 crores so cash is being utilized in uh, roc a creative way to make sure we have enough uh, capacity available for the next 5 7 years and also being returned to shareholders so it's a mix of both that okay uh we leave it to that uh, you know mr bagla thank you very much for joining in uh that's uh, the company guiding for 19 to 23% annualized revenue growth over the next 2 years and by fi 25 revenue should should hit that 25000 mark in next year they are looking at a margin expansion of 50 basis points get into